Mummy! Mummy! Where are you? Behind you! Look for me! You're always hiding from me! Here I am! I love to play hide and seek. I hide inside the sea anemone. I'm so curious. I love looking around. There is an ocean of salt water around us. I love to swim with my clownfish friend in this nice warm water. It's warm because we live in the tropical ocean. Mummy? What's behind the sea anemone? I would like to get to know other fish as well. Look at the neighbours. They're very busy with their eggs. See? Did I hatch as well, Mum? Yes. One day you, along with all your brothers and sisters, hatched in our sea anemone. Do our neighbours have their own sea anemone? Just for themselves? Yes, they do. And their children can swim around just like you. She's protecting them by using her burning arms. But she won't burn us, right, Mummy? Our striped body is covered by a glossy coat. Not every fish has such a coat. Those fish should stay away from the sea anemone. And there is lots of tasty food. Right you are. Here we are safe and have lots of yummy food. Mummy, do you think she's happy that we live inside her? Of course she is. She appreciates all the good care we give her. I don't know. She won't let any other fish in. That's right. Only we, and maybe an occasional crab, can hide inside the sea anemone. The crab has his shell, which protects him. But is he also afraid sometimes? Yes, he's afraid of the octopus. His shell won't protect him against her. Sometimes I like to look at the other fish. I think that striped ones are the prettiest. I agree. The clownfish has only three stripes on an orange body, but some of our relatives have lots of stripes. Mummy, look! This fish lives close to us, right? Yes, that's our neighbour. Hello, neighbour. How are you today? I see her here every day. Gosh! And these neighbours have a different sea anemone and different stripes. Yes, each of us has a different body colour and different stripes. And what about these fish? I can barely see them. How do they make their camouflage? They have special markings on their fins, which look like the eyes of a huge fish. Looks like the neighbours are a little bit afraid of them. They also have special markings that make the other fish think they're really big. That's why the other fish don't bother them. Look at our neighbours with their sea anemone. Wow! Mummy! There are so many colours and shapes! There are so many things to see underwater! What's the name of those creatures that have eyes on their sticks? Those are hermit crabs. They have little houses which shelter their fragile bodies. They carry them on their back. Where are you? Are you hiding again? Come on, you know that clownfish shouldn't stray far from their sea anemone. Also swimming down here are fish that like to eat clownfish for dinner. That's why we can't swim to visit other clownfish. Yes, and because their sea anemone would find out that we don't belong there. I don't understand. Every sea anemone has her own family and won't let anyone else in. And what would happen if someone else tried to come in, Mum? She would burn them. That's the way she defends her family. And what about our glossy coat? Wouldn't it protect us? 
Nope, but thanks to this coat, we can safely live only in our sea anemone. And the others can live only in theirs. Like here, see? What a smart house the clownfish has. Right, Mum? Smart and beautiful. My beautiful house. I like you most of all. Mummy, the neighbours are saying that their house is most beautiful. How come? Everyone thinks their house is the most beautiful. They like theirs the same way as you like ours. Gee, Mum, those fish are playing catch-up. Like you and me, in our sea and enemy. I want to play too. But you know we can play only around our sea anemone, like our neighbours only play around theirs. I know. If I had to swim away, I would be afraid. I'd rather stay with you and our sea anemone. Maybe sometime I can just look around. Hey, sea anemone! Did you know that there are other bigger fish than me swimming around? They're even striped, like me. I'd rather swim back to you. These look friendly. Maybe I could swim with them for a while. Enough of swimming around. Come back here, quickly. You're too little and I'm afraid for you. OK, Mum. I'm coming. Seems like you haven't been listening to me, right? Who are you talking to, son? With our sea anemone, of course. Who did you think I was talking to? Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Pardon my butting in. Wait, Mummy. I want to ask more. Mummy, look over there at the neighbours. Something weird is swimming there. Can you hear it? Sea and Emily let something weird come into their house. It doesn't even look like a fish. Those are prawns. They're transparent creatures. They are looking for the guardian. Wow, Mummy, look at the alert. What's happening? The neighbours are hiding away. Hurry, my son. Come to me. Over there, Moray the eel is sticking her ugly head out of that hole. Hmm. She looks hungry. I don't like her at all. Lucky for us, we are faster than her, right? It's just an illusion. She may look like she's slow, but when the prey gets close, she jumps at it and catches it. Every smart creature who sees the moray should quickly hide, like our neighbours just did. Don't even stick out your flipper. I won't. I don't want her to eat me. Silent. Be quiet. Look at our neighbours. How careful they are. Seems like the moray changed her mind. She's going back into her dark hole. Oh, Mummy, she was so ugly. I might like her more if she was colourful or striped, like us. Or like our neighbour. But it's not to be. Everyone is different, which is how it should be. The moray is the way she's supposed to be. Like these small prawns. I like them more. You like them because you're not afraid of them, right? <laughs> you got me there, Mum. But the prawns are not like striped fish at all. Some of them are transparent, like the surface of the water. Mummy, were you afraid that something bad will happen to me? 
When danger is close, every mother looks for her babies. She has to take care of them and protect them, even against the Mori. So, among so many neighbours, how should I recognise who would eat me for dinner? Well, you never know for sure, but it's a good idea to hide in our sea anemone if you come across something bigger than you. Some are hard to spot, and some can look like their surroundings. And some can combine the two. There are many options. Gosh, look, that's a hermit crab. I know him. A hermit crab? Where? I don't see him. There, there! Look closer! There he goes! Are you making fun of me? There's nothing there. But he was there! I saw him! He carried his house, just like you told me. Ah, you're right. I see him now. He has the colour of the sea bottom. He scared the pretty fish next door. No, he didn't. She behaves like that all the time. Mummy, I want to ask you something. I think that's enough for today. Find yourself a comfy spot inside of the sea anemone. The straight neighbour says she's getting a headache from all my questions. She said she needs to find a more quiet place. Look! Mr Crab covered himself by the sea anemone. Do you think he's going to sleep? Yes. He's getting ready to sleep through the night. But I'm not tired yet. And it's not even dark. Mr. Crab knows that everyone should take their rest so they will have enough strength. So, can I at least wait until dark? Will you say goodbye to the humans? I sure will. Dear humans, it's up to me to say goodbye. I hope you liked our world. So farewell and don't forget your friends, the clownfish. <laughs>